Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit russellforkpharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. The City of Prestonsburg now has a new app which can be downloaded on mobile devices, which will give citizens the option to report any non-emergency maintenance around town. For instance, severe storm or a road closed or something, we can put it out to anybody who has this app very easily. So it gives us a quicker way to get information to our departments, a more effective way, and it don't tie people up on the phone so much. Stapleton Credits BitSource, an Eastern Kentucky technology-focused group with the creation of the app, and says that this will help get messages to each individual department in the city in a timelier manner. I use a pothole as an example. If somebody has a pothole or something like that, they can take a picture of it and it actually pulls up a map and they send it to us. Then we forward it on to the Department of Public Works and it'll actually tell you what, what the process is, you know, where it's been reported, uh, it's been uh, checked out, it's been worked on, it's been completed. The old process of scheduling maintenance work was very time consuming, but with the new app, the process will be more streamlined and efficient, says Stapleton. Well, they would call either here at City Hall or they would call the uh, dispatch and then we'd have to get a hold of someone in the department and then the department would have to go out and look at it and then they usually have to call back. It's hard to get your directions correct sometimes. So, you know, it takes a while, but this is also going to hold us a little bit more accountable. So it'll keep us uh, moving quicker on the projects. Isabella Jacobs, the administrative assistant for the city of Prestonsburg, says that the app is available now and is very easy to use. We have it open on the App Store and on Google Play. So you go into the App Store, you just type in hometown aware and share, take a picture or just report a problem. It actually uses a, a, a geo map that it'll track where you are. So you um, just report the problem and then it'll notify me. I will get an email and a phone notification and then I send it to the department heads, whether it be fire, police, uh, dispatch, whatever needs to happen. Jacob says that they receive many calls a day and that this app will allow them to organize and better assist the needs of the citizens of Prestonsburg. This will help us with the department heads to notify the department heads and to make sure that they get it done. And if they, if they don't get it done, you know, you'll, you'll know about it and then we'll, we'll get there as quick as we can. Chief Operating Officer Peyton May of BitSource says that they approached the city of Prestonsburg to create the app after the Center of Rural Development had a grant opportunity for technology that could help spur economic development or more civic engagement. We're definitely building technology that seeks to solve challenges, whether they be local or regional or national. So again, the, the real value of the mobile application is this direct link between the city and the residents, allowing them two-way communication. For more information on how to use the app, visit cityaware.com and click on app walkthrough. So as you mentioned, um, an, an older population, um, and I've worked with a couple of people who have had a little bit of trouble with account setup, and, we, and we've worked through that with them. So, you know, we're available um, so that we can uh, help users have a, a good experience. Um, and then we need that feedback too, so that we can make that experience more seamless. Mm -hmm. Both the city of Prestonsburg and BitSource say that they are excited to work together and help improve the city. I'm, I'm excited because the city actually gets to do something about, you know, the problems within our city. Les and Isabella and the Public Works Department at Prestonsburg, um, as well as Les technical staff were great to work with. It was a really seamless process and we look forward to um, moving into the future as the product grows. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.